I'm Bethany Drysdale, WCTV, and this is the Washoe County Connection. Residents received great news in February when county commissioners accepted a $6.5 million federal grant for a rental assistance program. This grant will allow residents to pay some back rent that they may owe or help them on future rent. It can also be used to pay utility bills that they may have fallen behind on. Community outreach is a top priority for county commissioners. So in February, they approved the creation of a multi-track commissioner support program. Washoe County is a big county with lots of different needs throughout the county. This new program will use outreach and mapping tools to better connect commissioners with their constituents' needs. I think it's really innovative and I think that it'll help us as well to predict emerging issues rather than reactive issues that we are then reacting to. So I think it's a great idea. This data-driven approach will also help the citizen advisory boards be better informed and make better decisions for the whole community. Finally, commissioners tackled a monumental issue facing Incline Village residents, short-term rentals. Short-term rentals are more commonly known as Airbnbs or vacation rentals, and there are up to 1,200 of them in Washoe County, 90% of which are in the Incline Village Crystal Bay area. But currently, there are no regulations around short-term rentals, no way to address noise or safety concerns. Commissioners introduced a first reading, which then allows them to address fees and fines at a future meeting. I think it's really important that we try to move forward with an ordinance today so we can have these regulations in place um, for the summer. The goal is to have regulations in place just in time for the summer tourist season. I'm Bethany Drysdale, WCTV, and that's what's happening in Washoe County.